Hi, I am Dr. Elizabeth Samantha Rothschild Judge. I just got some new glasses. Getting used to them. They've got Invisalign's focus and everything. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about me wearing the wig. Remember there was an agreement that I would wear a wig, you know? I agreed, I promised that I would wear a wig instead of my hair. So here, my hair has been in two plaids pretty much, you know, and I've been wearing the wig and everything. So today, my mommy and I thought it would be a good idea. It would be a good idea to take the wig off for a moment because some people have not kept up their end of the bargain. Okay. So um, what's going on is, I'm still being harassed by people who are jealous of my hair. And the deal was I would wear a wig and you all would support one another in prayer about your jealousy situation and stop bothering. And you know what? The same exact things have happened since I've been wearing the wigs that was happening before when I was wearing my natural hair day. Let's see, kind of see, yeah. Y'all see my teeth? They so pretty, my mom. And then I got her two front teeth. But anyway, um, so people keeping me up in the middle of the night, getting up almost walking into me when I'm trying to go to the bathroom, coming in the bathroom when it's time for me to brush my teeth after having taken five laxatives so they can go, coming into the dining area, smelling like dookie, of talking to me for no reason when you don't have a reason to talk to me. The things that you do when you get upset because my hair is pretty and you're acting out of jealousy. Well, you're doing those same things even though I have my hair covered and it's hot. So I'm like, if you're going to do the same things, what's the point of me wearing a wig? So my mom thought it'd be a good idea. Take the wig off for a minute, you know. So it's off today and it can come off permanent because I don't have a problem with my hair, but I do have a problem with people talking to me that don't have any reason to be talking to me just to do it. And that mostly happened with persons who were jealous of my hair. So why y'all still being a nuisance? I kept my end of the bargain up. And even after I received the wig dropped, I even put in for a wig myself, the white one, y'all didn't even buy the right ones. So um, I'm not afraid to wear my hair down. And that's what it seems like y'all are trying to make it seem like when really I did that as a mercy move for you. And you're not doing anything more than what you were doing before. So if you can't control yourself or you can, all can't control yourself, I can take the wig back off because it's really, you know, like I said, it's hot, I sweat. and um, it takes less time to just wear my natural hair. So. All right. Well, we'll see. I'm gonna put it, I'm, I might, I'm, I should be putting it back on, but this is just to say, I'm not afraid to get on YouTube with my hair, you know, even, even not being completely uh, styled, if you would. All right, y'all. It is what it is, all day long and all through the night.